Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can create an ISO file just using an iPad. The ISO file is basically a disk image file. For example, here on my iPad with UTMSE, I have installed Windows XP and I would like to now mount some of my files here into my CD-ROM drive so I can get the files inside here of Windows XP. So here in my files app under downloads, I already created a couple of ISO files. I have here Warcraft 2. I want to put this folder here with all the Warcraft 2 files inside of an ISO file. So how can I do this? And I found an amazing app and it's even free. If you come to the app store and you look for Unarchiver, that is actually for zip and raw. But if we look down here closely, it can also support reading of ISO files and creating archives. So I downloaded it, give it a shot, and it's actually, as they say here, easy to use archive browser. So if we come up here, open, you have this window here and you can do two things. You can open an archive. So for example, open archive, then you can go to your files. So here, for example, I have Windows 98 second edition as an ISO file. I can open this and it reads my CD-ROM. I can use these files, share it and everything. Perfect. And I can also create an archive here, make archive. Then this window will pop up and what you have to do here Years, you have to change this to ISO. You can also create zip files by default. I think it's the zip. So you have to change this to ISO and then we don't have any hidden files here. So that's fine. If you would have hidden files, you can also use this one and turn this on. And then here on the top, this is how you add files and folders. So if you click here on the plus, this is where you can add files. So if I come to here and let's say, for example, here on my downloads and here's my Warcraft 2 folder, I can select files. But the problem with this method is I can't select a folder. So this is not the method we want if I have a complete folder already prepared. The way we do this from a folder is clicking on the plus and then here add single folder. And now I can come in here and I select Warcraft 2 folder and I just say open. Now the complete Warcraft 2 folder with all the content is now in here. If you want, you can even add additional files and whatever you want to burn, not burn, but put on the image in the ISO file. If we are done, we just say compress. And then it will ask us, okay, save to, and now it will open our files app. And we can say here, for example, downloads. This is now Warcraft 2. This is a test here for YouTube. So YouTube, and then I say move. And if we now come back to our files app, we will see that we have now the Warcraft 2 YouTube ISO. So I'm coming back here to my virtual machine, UTMSE. And here under UTMSE, I can load a CD-ROM an ISO file, so change that one, and I select now the Warcraft YouTube file. So it's recognizing it. So if I click this one, we have the Warcraft 2 folder and all the content here for Warcraft 2 now on my virtual machine of Windows XP. So this is how you can create an ISO file, disk image file on an iPad. I think the app is also available for iPhone. You should probably also be able to do this now on the iPhone. This is amazing, it's free. It's cool, it's very good. So I hope you learned something. If you're new to my channel, I'm Daniel. This is all about iPad, iPad filmmaking, DaVinci Resolve and this kind of stuff. And even also hacks, how we can use our iPad to be more efficient. And yeah, anyway, I hope you like this. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding and a bam bang gong. And we we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.